Mm. Greetings, people. Numbaro here, and today we're going to start playing some Inkbound. Now, this was a game I've wanted to play for quite a while, but they had a bit of a problem with, you know, this game launched with a bunch of, I don't know, it launched with microtransactions. It, it had a battle pass and a bunch of other stuff. It just really, I don't know, really kind of turned me off from the game. It's made by the same creators as Monster Train, which is one of my favorite roguelikes of all time and probably no not not even probably it's definitely my favorite uh deck builder and yeah so i was very disappointed with that because it just didn't feel right like yeah sure i know a lot of other games will do stuff like that but it's it's you're launching an early access with that it, yeah but whatever all of that's removed now so we're just gonna go into the game and we'll start from there so Starting with the first character here, the Magma Miner. And yeah, well, let's just go from here and just do a quick run because I ain't doing no big long runs. <laughs> That's going to take a while. All right, let's go. So we can... I don't even know what the real difference is between these different areas. If it's just enemy types or what, I don't know. I'm still pretty much just starting this game. So I'm just going to arbitrarily pick one and we are going to jump right into it. The Vengewood. All right. Potion. Grab free potion. There we go. It's a potion. It's pretty cool. All right, starting with a equipment. So this will pretty much help us figure out our build. As you can see, there are set bonuses, which is fun. On hitting, inflict two stacks of poison. Hmm. So these are all physical and not scaled off magic. So that seems weird, but what do we else we got here? Plus three max HP after combat and extra poison damage. Yeah, that does sound like a lot of fun. We'll take it. I didn't even read what I was doing. I'm just clicking. Listen. A putrid place of wrath and decay. Once, alas, if any story should serve as a herald of things to come from this blood. Okay. <laughs> so, Tarnished Vault. I don't know what that is. I, I did, like, half a run just to see what the game was like before I started. I don't know what all these items are. We'll learn as we go. But I do understand the comic. So, let's just jump into it. So, as you can probably guess, these guys are doing AoEs. So, I'm going to not want to end my turn inside these. These guys with the arrows pointing, yeah, those, they're unavoidable damage. We have to hit. So, we have four actions per turn. And you can see the cost of each skill is, you know, above them. So, one, one, two. These are our skills that we have for our class. We can get some other generic ones later. Character's passive here is every time we do five. Gain one second of heat whenever you hit an enemy. Granting 10% bonus attack damage per stack. Every five stacks you gain one shield and 15 movement. On turn end, or, or using a binding without damaging an enemy, lose all stacks. So, yeah. So this thing over here, this orb, this will give us a number thing. This other orb area is how far we can move per turn. So, we can probably... So we do have a leap, so we can do a little leap over here. Bop. And then we we bop. And we also have big chunky slam. So we can do big chunky. Oh, there was a guy over there that was attacking. That was bad. Uh yeah, so I'm taking damage first turn because I was not paying enough attention. So it deals 50% damage and takes 50% increased damage. Okay. But let's see, can we line up two hits? Yes. Boom. Boom. Honestly, what I want to do is just keep smacking. Grab this. So that's a extra. And then boom. I don't know how much damage this guy's going to do, but we'll grab that. And we'll just smack him again. He's got extra damage. He's hitting for three. I'm blocking one damage. So I'm taking two. But he, yeah, how much? After an enemy attack, deals five magic damage per stack, then lose half the stacks. Okay, well, whatever. That was a messy start. 
know what? Let's take this. We can grab two of... Wait, no. I thought that was two of the same item. <laughs> Makes sense to, uh, to read things. On your first turn, gain five shielded. Kind of playing to be just the first turn. On your turn, 35% chance to gain one will. Will is our... Or our, our, our uses, so having an extra one at the start would be nice. On your turn, 33% chance to gain 30 Omni damage until end of turn. I don't really know what Omni damage is, so I'm just going to grab that. And now we can grab an extra skill. So we can get a heal, steal money, or an ally gains one stack of blur. It gains critical charge on a random binding. It reduces all incoming damage attacks by one per stack on enemy turn and lose all stacks that's some extra defense i guess i'm gonna take the heal all right gain a free binding augment and the option to purchase another heal rift in the story creates an opportunity for you to make a powerful choice that sounds good too but let's power up our skills ah, break that uh i don't have quite enough money yeah. Oversized bomb. So wider area for the range. On turn start, full cost discount. On turn start. So I can always use this once for free. Wait. If I'm reading that right, that's amazing. Alright, so Quilling Cage, Turn Vault. Superior Vault. Big, I don't... Oh, so Quillings are probably... That's our money, so that's probably just a bunch of cash. Superior Vault and a Tarnished Vault. Will that give us... Let's do this. It's a it's a harder challenge, but... Is there anything? Left click. It's over here. Oh, there's fishing. Holy crap. Left click, consume me two shielding, lost at the end of the turn. Sure. Fun. Okay. I'm still learning. Alright, so this guy... I think this is a loot boy. Every 25% max HP threshold will drop fillings. Defeated if it, defeating it will drop even more. We'll flee combat after 5 turns. These guys... Being hit stops provoking. If not hit for a turn, 25% boost for the rest of combat. Well, that sounds horrifying. So, I want to... Make sure we smack him. And then we do that. And then we do that. So nothing's attacking us now. Uh, so how much damage is this going to do? 406. Let's grab that. Let's do big bonk. And let's get yeah, full heal. Okay, that was, that was some strats, and we got more dudes spawning in. So, can I hit both of you? I can. And then I, I bonk you, grab that. Alright, so who's attacking me here? This guy. I can go around. This. Can I actually get a double hit here? I can. And I believe that's all I can do. So I'm going to take four damage here. But that's fine. How am I doing this? He's thinking this one through. You can... Bonk. We bonk. Okay, so these guys are just doing AoE, so it honestly almost makes sense. To just... Oh, it's still not done. All 
All right, well, first we'll start off by healing. And then we do... All right. Is there any way... There doesn't seem to be a way I can hit both of them. But I can big bonk. Big bonk. And then jump behind. There. Now we're good. Okay, okay. Still took a little bit of damage, but we're, we're fine. Physical damage and movement returned. You and your allies are immune to rooted and ensnared. On upon collecting our extra magic damage, telebinding is used. So, eh, that sounds bad. I'm going to grab this. On hitting an enemy for the first time each turn, inflict three stacks of burn. At the end of combat, this vestige gains plus two max HP and restores two HP. Upon collecting an orb, gain a shield. So that'll give us four shattered will, which I don't know what that is. Molten. I... Alright, you know what? I'm going to take that. You have some sort of weird DOT thing happening. Deal 100... Plus 50 damage for each stack of dread in a small area. Lose all dread. I don't have a way of stacking dread. Now I gain one stack of blur. You have 74 damage for a single enemy. It's like one stack of shot. Sure. None of that was exciting to me. Destroy a vestige to permanently gain its gain double its sets. I need extra physical damage. And every two combats gain a random epic vestige. But I need four for that. This one is the burn damage. And now, I don't think I have anything I want to do that with. So, let's augment another skill. I probably should see what those choices are one of these days. But, not right now. Okay, minus base cooldown. Minus base... Wider area and further range. This is just on our basic, I think. So... Yeah, let's do that, and let's grab a rare augment. Crit chance and crit damage. Sounds good. Healing from restoration or its upgrades can overheal, granting a shield. For now, it's healed for greater than its max HP. That's meh. Upon defeating an enemy, you smash on an orb once per turn. That's also really good. Probably better than this, because... Alright. Uncommon augment. And a vault. Superior vault. Alright, I want an augment. These augments seem to be the best. As you can see, it does look like we have a limited number of effects we can put on them. Carrier potion. Left click to gain and shielded. Sure. Alright, let's go. Uh, so this guy is, deals one damage to the attacker when taking damage. Emits blazing barrier to all enemies. Defeat to cleanse the effect. Okay. How much health do you have? 150. Bop. So these guys are both doing AoEs. So you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to hop over here. Apply some poison. Grab some more. Num num num. And I guess I may as well have healed myself. I should have done that at the start. Grab that. So grabbing an orb also uh, drops the cooldowns of skills. So. So that's going to hit for 96. That's going to hit for 120. This guy's got... Oh. 
May as well bop that way. Alright. We're good. I lost three health, but that's fine. Okay, grab the orb. We heal. Let's leap in. Can we get... Grab that. And... Guess we do that. Wait, I still got two more... I have no idea how it... What's happening. Let's do that. All right, we're taking a, we're taking five damage. I'm gonna hold on to my potions right now. I, I, it's not that much. We bop, we bop. Hey, I thought that was gonna kill. All right, we grabbed that, and then we, we big bop. Very, very basic character. Uh, turn it Smite damage, crit damage. I don't think any of these are stuff that I have. Well, I have this one, the spiked damage. On your first turn, gain stacks of spiked. It's not really something I'm overly going for, but I may as well just grab it. All right, target gains two shield. Upon defeating an enemy, gains three shield. Inflict two stacks of burn. Sure. On hitting enemies for the first time each turn, inflict three stacks of burn. This is not seeming to be activated. Straight Vestige to gain double its sets. Yeah, no, I still don't have one. Rebinding Augment and the option to purchase another. Uh, I probably don't have enough money. No, definitely don't. Plus 5 damage, gain 5 movement. Restores 2 additional HP, but increases the cooldown. Gaining a shield. A shield of 3 on my big smash. That's nice. Those extra damage. That's my last slot, though. Okay. We gotta go to the. We're going to the shop. We don't have any other option. So cost money to heal. Cost money for an augment. Store of value. <laughs> ah, I can buy it. Let's So extra physical. I'm being hit. Deal 90 physical damage to the attacker. But then that'll also give me 25 physical damage. Plus power that up. But I need to get up to, up to 5 before we get the next effect, which is after each combat, you're I deal 10 percent when you lose 10. That's amazing. But that would have been amazing to focus hard early. So you know what? Let's take this. That might be something to smash if we ever get the option. Eh, could have took that instead. Either way, boss. Lusk the Blight Bat. Alright, any indication of what you're all about? On turn end, explodes, killing itself. Okay, so don't even need to worry about these guys. Instead, we pop over here. May as well do a... Actually, no, may as well... Couple steps back, and then we bop, and perhaps a. No, I don't want to. Yes, I do. And then we big bop, and we grab that. Probably should have grabbed that first, but oh well. And what does shock do? Upon being hit, all other enemies are dealt. Oh, should have started with that. Wait, why am I taking seven damage? Oh, those things are area of effect everything. That's a bit of a... Power orb. This guy's hitting me no matter what I do. Gain some shields. I buff him again. So he's taking... 150, 65. That's not that much, actually. 
There was like a bleed. I'd assume that would be a physical. I guess we'll eat this crab. Yum, yum, yum. Still take a bit of damage. Kind of almost took more. Okay, I'm just looking what I can do. Not much. I'm honestly... My plan here... Where is this explosion coming from? I can't mitigate that at all. Alright, let's just stack up more poison, more burn. And, yeah, we take this hit. But, now, I can grab this. Shock him. Bop. So, yeah, that shock did not work as I expected it to. Is it only one? Oh, it's only one use. Okay, good. Get him to that point, he ends his attack. Phase two. Anything really new? Not really. Oh, uh, we heal. And then I kind of have to. Oh, they're just perfectly away from each other. All right, so we do have enough movement to get out of here. Because so we do another bop and then we run away. Still taking three damage. But forgotten D. What's that? Spike, combo crap. I don't know what the forgotten deed was. The purple goop is blight. Deals unprofessional damage when you take an action or end your turn in it. Oh, standing in it. Damn it. Kill. Kill. Grab. Hang out over here. Uh Yeah, we, we do it a big hit. Alright. Jump. Smack. Smack. Power orb. Uh... Having that be free once per turn is really nice. We smack. We smack. And then we hide over here. Take five damage. Alright, he's getting close. Grab that. Boom. Boom. And then if I use this, would this kill everything? Yes, it does. All right. Perfect. Oh, he is at nine health. Oh, we get a full heal after bosses. Okay. Binding tuner. Ascend a binding. The leaping strike can get greater or comet. Conflict extra burn. Gain an additional stack of heat for each enemy hit. Yeah. That sounds insanely good. Let's take that. Uh, crit chance, crit damage, crit chance, crit damage. Bomb costs zero will the first two times you use it each turn. Okay, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> All right, what do we want to go to? The derelict starship, the garden's edge, or the radiant market. A oh, starship sounds so fun. Let's go there. This is a very different looking area. 
Aboard the abandoned starship, the air is vacuous and electric, full of hidden prisoners waiting to escape. Remnants of a small crew scatter the area, a crew that escaped in haste. What were they escaping, however, remains to be seen. Alright. Rear augment, uncommon augment, superior vault, superior vault. Rear augment. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I want I want to get these my skills up best as I can. Oh, these are loot things. Just rip that alien's head off. I am the hero of the story. What the heck? Okay, on its turn, it loses one third of its HP and spawns a simply. Oh, these things have a lot of health. Alright, we'll do that. Grab a power orb. And then just bonk him again. Oh, it spawns a lot of dudes. That's actually fine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you guys uh, just... Boom. So that'll give me a lot of extra power. Boom. Boom. Okay, who was targeting me? That guy. Should have opened with that. Oh well. Alright, I'm taking damage. Can't can't stop it. Can't really hit that other guy that's gonna be attacking me. That's what it matters anyways. So this guy's had a higher chance of probably attacking me next turn anyways with just a targeted attack. Yeah. So what we can do. We jump in. We do that. Big slam. And then we do some free box. And then we just bonk this guy. Okay. Those last couple upgrades have really just set this into actually having a build. It's not necessary. It already has a cooldown of like it's two turns, I guess. Three heat on the smash is good though. I'll take it. I can't get any more on it now though. It's like five stacks of burn. If the recipient has less than 50% max HP, restore an additional 3 HP. That's pretty good. Alright, free binding augment. Oh, yeah, I I, I want to get some of these other skills maxed out. Like, heck, I can still even hold another skill. Uh, rare augment, uncommon augment. Alright, you know what? We'll take this. And we will spend the money for... I don't really need the burn, but I... I'm close to getting that, if I can... But what's... What is it that's giving us? Something useful, isn't it? No, not really. I get the chance to trash something, I'm trashing this. And then all my burns get better. All right, that's worthwhile. All right, you know what? I want big money. Give me big money. All right, let's go. What the heck is that? Fun looking, I like him. All right, so he's attacking me. So if we do, oh, he's huge, so that makes this easy. And then we bonk. And we do another free bonk. And then...
Grab another power orb. Wait, how many stacks does that put me at? Is that spiked? Uh, I'm at 10 stacks. I can't gain any more, so there's no point doing another leap. So instead, we just do another big bonk. So I got two armor. He gets hitting for six. So that... All right, so definitely start with the heal. And then we do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so this thing, what is he doing? He's doing a big attack. Oh, shoot. Hundred and thirty one. Damn it. I thought it was I thought grabbing that would have refreshed that skill. Oh well, still take we take one damage. Okay, what is this guy again? Amplify Enchanter. Okay, and Amplify is extra max HP. Okay. Actually, let's grab the power orb. We shock. We smash. And then we do our free box. Superior bolt. Uh I on your first turn, gain one will and 15 magic damage until end of turn. Just end of turn. Because extra magic damage should probably improve the damage of my burns. But we're going to reroll that. Venomous. Okay, I have, upon critting, inflict 10 stacks of burn. That's not amazing. Let's do another reroll. This is the only one that will give me something. Upon defeating an enemy, gain 3 stacks of shattered will. A 10 stacks gain a will. Oh, I have to get rid of something. Oh, never mind. I don't even want that. Damn it. Alright, bonk in the send. Ah. Deal 33 damage. After mining an enemy twice, gain a small amount of killings and a 25% chance to spawn an orb. Uh, yeah. Destroy. Okay, we can only do it once. That's fine. I have no idea what a glyph globe is, but I want it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What? What is that? At turn start, gain 280 shield. While it has a shield, it deals 2 damage to the attacker. Well, that's jerk. Can I hit everyone? No. Oh, that only hit one guy. 4, 4. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, bomb expert each turn and launches a bomb towards the player okay I don't know what I did so poorly there, but we're just going to use that. <laughs> Alright, well, thankfully, we have a much nicer... Bonk. And we bonk. 
What happened to this guy? Why did he fall asleep? Oh well, power orb, power orb. Shock. Did I kill everyone? Cool. And that's heal. All right. Now I have a powerful healing build. Bop. Bop. Grab that. <laughs> Upon being hit... All right, that'll give me more physical damage. Let's go for it. And if I get one more, I'm verdant again. That effect. Lift globe. What's that do? I really don't know. Those are straight vestige. Permanently gain its double set. Yeah, actually. Yeah, this thing is kind of useful. It's just not amazingly useful. Having those upgraded are definitely better than the actual item itself. Ooh, we're on the boss already. Uh, Uncommon, Augment. Anything exciting here? This will improve my poison. Upon restoring your HP in combat, this Vestage gains 2 poison damage, up to 20 poison damage. Sure. We have... That'll make our poison stronger. Like, quite a bit stronger. Because, like, healing doesn't matter. The Mimic. Oh, that's the boss, huh? Well, let's open up with a heal. So now we have extra 5 poison. It's not amazing yet, but... Bop. And a bop. And there's no one else here, so... Either way, we'll grab the power orb. And then we will, we'll just continue bopping. Bop. Bop. And you know what? I think it's time for Big Bop. Name it Shuriken. On turn end, gain one Mimic Shuriken. Mimic's direct attack deals an additional damage per stack. Oh. Oh no. Alright, well. Alright, well, you know what? We grab a Power Orb. Get back behind him. And, you know, commence bopping. This is going to get scary, though. We need to kill this guy as fast as humanly possible. I can't hit all three. That sucks. Oh, I could have... Ah, whatever. Let's heal. Alright, we're up to seven. And, you know what? Bonk. And you know what? I got another bonk. Me too. Kind of wish I was stacking up burn faster. All right. Jump down here, and then we will. Why can't I target the boss? Oh, they just have a weird hitbox. Okay. So yeah, then we just can we can leave out of this area after, you know, the bonkening. Alright. Mimic loses its transformation. That sounds like it's a good thing. Where is it? It's 
start stacking up a bunch more, uh... Oh, it turned into me. Do that. We heal. We shock. Ah, shit. Could have done that a little better. Either way. Just. Oh, Mimic Teeth. At 10 stacks, the next attack deals double damage. Upon being hit, gain one stack of Mimic Teeth. Oh. Oh, no. Well. Hopefully we can kill him before he hits that point. Actually, this is good. We just bonk him a bunch, and then we step out here. So this attack's doing double damage, but that was easy to dodge. Nope, it's just basic attack. Okay, that's that's good. Power up. Bonk. Bonk. So that puts me at 10. Alright, perfect. Oh, it wasn't enough damage, but that's fine. Smash becomes Demolish. Deals damage to a single enemy. On hitting, drop a moderate amount of quillings. On defeating an enemy, drop even more. Deal 56 plus 56 damage for each stack of burn on an enemy. Consume all stacks of burn. On defeating an enemy, detonate spread to nearby enemies. Huh. That's cool. That's really cool. On defeat. It kind of works with what I'm doing. Because we're stacking up a whole bunch of burn with that. But I'm only... No, if it was poison... Like, I, I think I'm... No, I'm stacking burn a lot faster. Yeah, you know what? The detonate might be the better choice. I don't need to discount it anymore. Smite on hit, restore HP. Uh... Plus 5 HP is a lot. Alright. I'm assuming we only have one area left, because otherwise it's been going on for a while. The familiar sight of uh, within the vast expanse of the Sea of Ink bleeds together with the fragments. Story this villain hails. Fragments of story of, I think it should be of the story this villain hails from created an altogether unsettling place, the villain's lair. A dank and mutilated place, cobbled together by the sheer power of the unbound, residing in some unknown section of the sea. There is no story here. No intent. Only chaos. Okay. So is this a full area, or just the boss? Oh, it's a full area. Each turn increases the attack and shield of all enemies. Okay. Well... Wow. Bonk. And another bonk. Thank you for the free money. And then we do a nice little leap in here. I should be healing. No, I, I don't know if I have to actually heal to improve that or not. Either way, we can do this. Power orb. That's actually not as much as I would have liked. Wait, what is that? Is that thing always here? Burn. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're really stacking up burns now. So I have... I won't be able to kill. I will be able to kill. Oh, because I keep getting more damage. Okay. Alright, so now I... I'm taking 12 damage, though, still. <laughs> oh god. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, he's dead. That's a power orb. Alright, who's got the most burns? Nine. I don't know if that's enough to really do what I... Anything too impressive. It's enough. <laughs> and then, yeah, end the turn. Oh, may as well power orb. And then we heal up. Powering up our, our poison a little more. May as well do this to start with, just for the extra heat. He dropped another power orb. Thank you. Grab this power orb. And bonk. That's not bonk, that's Josh and Art. It can fault. On defeating an enemy afflicted with burn, this vestige gains one burn damage. Okay, <laughs> uh, what are we getting rid of? This. On restoring your HP. I don't really even need that one either. Alright, so having two of these. We're going to be scaling up our DOTs like crazy. Oh, it doesn't even matter. We're at the end. Alright, it was just one fight for the boss. That's fine. All right, I think we got this against this weird burb. Cinder the Nightcaller. All right, uh, Blazing Barrier, Cinder. Click Cinder Pox on players dealing damage at the end of the turn. Defeats Tangled Reinforcement as a Crater Cleansing Shroom. Well, we need to kill this boy. Well, actually, let's start with a boom. Get as much extra power as humanly possible. Boom. Boom. Power orb. And then... And then power orb. And then we heal. Yeah, it wasn't enough to kill. Okay, Cinderpox is doing one damage per stack. Okay, I don't really... I'm not that terrified of it yet. Okay, so we'll take one damage. That's fine. It, this guy's uh, just making it really easy for me, but I guess like, look, he does have multiple phases. So this isn't actually doing damage to him, but that isn't even stacking burns, so there's no point doing that. But now he's flying. La jerk. Can I hit him? Doesn't seem to be. Right, let's grab that. And detonate. Alright, 
I'm taking a chunk of damage, but that's fine. Okay, he was just flying for one turn. That's actually good. But we do it a heal. Oh no, we're not able to get out of this. Alright, well. Only thing we can hope to do is, uh. Cleansing Shroom. Requires one will. Okay. Oh, I don't have any. That's why I wasn't activating. Burp. Alright. Oh no, that is getting out. Alright, perfect. Fine, fly away. See if I care. I do kind of care, but... No, I can't do it. I need to apply a bit more burn to him. Get out of there. Let's do that. Uh... Okay, so it has to be close by. Probably shouldn't be doing that in there. That was dumb. Alright, we need to heal for sure. Oh, I get cured every time. Okay. So this guy's just exploding for... Uh, it's not actually that much damage. I need him out of this area. Oh, I can't hit from here. Alright, perfect. Just stack up as much burn as we can. Summon some dudes. I don't care. <laughs> Dead night. Let's grab this. There we go. Then we jump in again. I can't reach the other one. That's fine. Just begin the bonkening. Alright, we, we are safe. Oh, we dead. That was easy. Okay, I was like, where do I go? Yay! Oh, I did good. Well, a lot of uh, things that need to be done. Okay, progression reward. On your turn, smite the nearest enemy. Okay, how do, how do I get into that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the meta progression works. But that's fine. Okay, I didn't even... I missed that quest before. So show in logbook. How do I unlock this stuff? Season quests. Oh, I just click on the, and then I unlock them. Oh, these are all things I've unlocked. 
Oh, can I get... So are these... I have no idea what I'm doing. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye for now.